Okay, for this session, we're going to start from question 14 because um, I'm going to demonstrate how to use average if. Now, average if is very, very similar to sum if, except that sum if adds um, the numbers based on the criteria and the range, while average if averages the numbers based on the range and the criteria. All right, so let's look at question 14 now. For each month of the year, calculate the average duration of holidays starting in that month. You may use rows 10 to 22 to help you. So what it wants you to do is to calculate the average days here based on the month here. All right, and where do you get the days? You are getting the days from the exact same range that you use when you are doing your sum if. Okay, so let's start the function now. Equals to average if. So the range would be your um, month this time because you need to compare your month here with the month here. All right, so I need to lock it because it's not a name range, right? Comma, the criteria would be your month, comma, your average range. So your average range would be your duration, right? Because you want to find the duration based on the month code here. However, you will get an error, all right? Now, some of you may notice it is because your month here is January in text, J-A-N-U-A-R-Y, and the month here instead is in numbers. So you cannot take uh, text and match it with numbers, okay? So that's the reason why there's an M-code column here. So you're going to replace January, February, March with one, two, three here so that you can take the M code here and match it with the month here. All right. So you've got to type it in yourself. One. Don't need to do this. Two, three. All right. That's an easy way to do that. So what you need to do is select the first cell. All right. Hold down control and drag it down. Right, it will create an auto increment for you. Now, modify the function so that this part is now selecting your M code. And there you have it. 